Hey guys, welcome to Tots and Moms. I am Kavita Prashant. In today's video, we'll talk about sleep tips for babies uh, who are around one year, one and a half year. This is not for kids. I will make a different video in case you need it. Uh, do let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a video for kids, how to improve their sleeping habit, etc. Now, uh, why is sleeping very important in babies? At, I mean the most important thing uh, if baby sleeps you will sleep it is really beneficial for both of you and the second thing uh, it helps in uh, better development of a uh, baby mentally and physically it is really important if someone is ill won't they say rest well sleep well and you'll be fine it applies to babies highly and um, in that age um, every part of their body is developing and uh, at a very very fast pace and if it happens with good sleep it happens very well so uh, most of them worry about the sleep most of them google ask questions with doctors and you all know that it is not possible for a baby to sleep at a stretch but there are a few things if you work upon if you uh, change uh, a bit in case if it is not in your routine it helps so this video is for you At first, let's understand the sleep statistics for baby according to the age. What is required until the age of five years? Birth to three months, 14 to 17 hours they sleep, uh, not at a stretch, but um, for the whole day in between naps inclusive. Four to 11 months, 12 to 15 hours. One to two years, 12 to 13 hours. Two to three years, 11 to 13 hours. 3 to 5 years, 10 to 11 hours. When a baby starts going to school, then is when it completely reduces. But until then, uh, it is really important for a baby to sleep this much. And again, these are standard calculation. It doesn't mean that every baby must sleep. A little here and there is really expected. Let's now come to your favorite part of the video, 10 tips to help baby sleep better. At first, healthy food habits matter a lot. Your baby uh, who is only on breast milk on the initial days must be fed breast milk more often uh, for the whole day or uh, towards the night. Whenever the baby is asking, you must uh, really feed the baby. Don't go by the clock. Most of them, as I observe, they say, it's just half an hour I fed him now. Do you know baby's tummy is really, really small, uh, maybe uh, the size of his fist. So when he drinks and he pees the next moment, his stomach is empty. And this is why you cannot expect babies to sleep at a stretch. Do you get sleep when your stomach is empty? Definitely not. You must be full and uh, then only you get uh, good sleep, right? At least you must have the required amount of food. So um, this applies for formula fed babies as well. In case they are hungry, uh, be it uh, during the day or during the night, feed them well. And um, once you start solids again, there will be a little change uh, in the sleep habits because of the food, because of any allergy. If you try to introduce something at the night it is not recommended because there may be allergy symptoms sleep patterns may vary because uh, baby felt gassy so it is always recommended to introduce new food in the morning so that uh, any reactions you can take him to the doctor immediately so food habits healthy foods not recommended salt and sugar all these if you follow food wise everything is taken care sugar why did i mention because it makes baby highly active most of them uh, even after knowing add in um, jaggery uh, brown sugar any form of sugar is sugar so you need not add any sweetener to your baby food uh, until unless it is naturally from fruits or vegetables it's not recommended at all so hold on uh, give your baby complete um, I mean uh, wholesome diet include uh, every type of food cereals grains so that a well-fed baby sleeps well stomach health or gut health of the baby needs to be really good because if a baby is cranky for the whole day in pain how do you expect the baby to sleep well at night or even during the day so uh, there are a few videos which I have shared already, uh, giving tummy time to your baby, giving uh, stomach massage, help release uh, the gas issues. 
and burping your baby all these help um, release gas or relieve baby from colic pain doctors or pediatricians say that babies don't suffer from colic pain at night so um, in the morning whatever gas issues need to be taken care you will have to ensure that you follow all this gripe water is really not recommended for babies do not over stimulate unfortunately in current fast paced life we all are busy in the morning and we meet up together only during the evening or uh, night max at many families post 7 o'clock 8 o'clock with the traffic with the travel time included uh, everybody in the family gets to meet only during that time maybe for 2 hours or 3 hours and unfortunately when we try to mingle we are making the baby too active in a wrong time so the whole day the baby was calm playing sometimes sleeping sometime and now at night suddenly he sees everybody he wants to smile he wants to show all uh, things he's learned he wants to crawl he wants to walk he wants to hold things bite everything so he's becoming active now because uh, he's interacting a lot he's getting tired because he is moving a lot uh, it is also uh, hampering his sleep time now because a tired, uh, super tired baby will not be able to sleep well. And you must ensure that, yes, if it is not possible to uh, spend more time with your baby in the morning and you're spending it in the evening, I would recommend at least an hour before a baby sleeps, stop all that hyperactive uh, stuff, uh, sit down with the baby, uh, listen to the songs or read books. That's the best thing you can do. Read books, have dinner together, make the baby sit down in one place. Uh, when you have a food, ensure that you give finger food to your baby. And all these things really help because uh, overstimulated baby will not be able to sleep well. Sleep environment uh, needs to be created. Now, um, clean bed, no toys on the bed. These help ensuring that baby is calmed down uh, and um, dimmer the light use curtains if you feel that the place where you stay has street light or something use uh, curtains and uh, uh, ensure that there is no much noise around everyone calms down during that time uh, it's important to sleep uh, together because you are creating an activity which baby uh, watches and learns if you want to go out and um, spend time post the baby sleeping then baby will not have an active sleep and use white noise which is just that sound which makes other sound uh, to be nullified almost so that the baby is not disturbed during the sleep or play any music uh, which is calm and soothing to help him sleep better forced sleep should be completely avoided uh, we uh, generally uh, sing lullabies or uh, pat the baby too much and make him sleep and now we come out and we play we see movies we gossip we talk the baby is uh, active at the subconscious level and listening everything and will definitely not have a sound sleep only when the baby is having good sound sleep he develops well his um, sleep continues at a stretch otherwise again he keeps waking up in between and he will uh, neither sleep well will not allow you to enjoy the thing you are doing so uh, it's important not to force sleep your baby sleep along the same side same time and um, also co-sleep it really helps when you sleep together baby knows that uh, you are there he feels secured safe and uh, his body clock also responds well he feels that yes it is the bedtime and now uh, i missed on to mention that you, when you create uh, a sleep environment you will have to continuously tell that chalo baba it is sleep time chalo let's go to bed bedtime or uh, read books at the same time and they know that the environment is created and it is sleep time use the best diaper in the market nothing best advice i could recommend because um, you don't feel like sleeping when you are wet that's the same uh, logic which is applied to babies babies cannot have a wet diapers cannot have wet cloth or nappy on them and sleep it may be daytime or night time you must ensure that you use the best diapers if you are using cloth nappies then uh, multiple folds of cloth inside will help i have made a detailed video on uh, cloth diaper and uh, normal disposable diapers there are two different videos please watch them uh, in disposable diapers i would recommend pamper premium because initial days of both my kids i wasn't really keen on using um, 
cloth diapers because it was something new uh, it required few amount of uh, time to clean it and to understand how to use it and i was not sure about it so initial days i have used uh, disposable diapers for 2 3 months and um, this brand pamper di premium diapers was really good the link is in the description box if you want to purchase it i have tried multiple uh, types of pants there are now girl pamper uh, or girl diaper and boy diaper night diaper day diaper varieties are plenty pants style or something else so you get confused when uh, there is so much in the market but i really trust this well 10 to 12 hours babies will have sound sleep and uh, this works well and when you talk about cloth diapers i um, came across super bottoms when divij was around 4 or 5 months that is when i think thought about investing in it because they are not very um, cost um, uh, budget friendly they are really expensive but in the long run when you calculate uh, disposable diapers versus cloth diapers they match um maybe you are saving a lot of money uh, at this three, three years stretch when you use these cloth diapers that means when they are potty trained and you don't have to use uh, diapers anymore so super bottom there is a video again in detail uh, what uh, this brand has to offer they have two varieties cover diapers and uh, uno diapers cover diapers are great for morning they hold pee for 2 3 hours and uno diapers for 10 to 12 hours with their fleece liners they work really well and i am a die hard fan of super bottoms um, diaper and um, yes i have 5% discount coupon in case you are willing to buy it uh, do uh, click on the link below and connect with us and let us know if you want uh, to purchase any uh, diaper there we'll give you 5% discount coupon apart from the discount running you can utilize this and um, this is on a limited quantity if you are willing to buy the super bottoms do connect with us now on the whole what i want to say is um, night time sleep is very important do not keep your baby wet at any cost Look out for sleep signs. Now your baby may be yawning, being very quiet, not interested in any activity or is bored of playing uh, suddenly and is quiet and not making any noise, uh, not jumping around, not crawling and in just one place. You must understand that your baby is giving you a sign that he is ready to sleep. And uh, irrespective of what time he gives these signs, take him to the bed and try to make him sleep. Because you do, you cannot go by the clock. Uh, we are human beings. They are little human beings. They also, um, it goes according to their mood, according to what they had, according to many things. So whenever they show any sign, just ensure you make them sleep. Be consistent. This is one uh, simple advice uh, which is given uh, to many parents to follow any activity rather. If you want uh, babies to follow such things, then consistency is very important. So every day during that time, if you're going to bed, fix one time, whichever suits according to your work schedule, your uh, family's schedule what suits you best you will be able to decide and stick on to it as much as possible if you're going on an outing if you are traveling or if you are going out for dinner try to adjust it uh, with baby sleep time so that you come back and make the baby sleep even in hotel wherever you are traveling and uh, do not stress much to it but yes um, trying to ensure that you sleep around the same time helps there is no good or bad baby many a times when you go out people ask first question is your milk sufficient is your baby eating solids not yet you have not yet started then comes how well is he sleeping most of the times it is the first question because everybody worries and knows that if a baby sleeps well it is good for the mother and everybody in the family otherwise it is very difficult to handle and manage a baby now this doesn't make a baby good or bad if a baby is sleeping for a longer time doesn't mean that he's a good baby every baby is different some babies have uh, good food some babies sleep well some babies reach their milestones on time some babies have great immunity some babies have good uh, weight gaining happening but uh, not everybody has everything there may be uh, one thing missing or one thing here and there it doesn't mean babies are flawed baby there is something wrong in the baby it's just natural they are babies they are meant to be so so a 
stop talking negative about your baby if somebody asks for it just give a smile and move on you don't have to explain it to others you don't have to feel bad the more they ask the more you think about it the more you feel bad oh mera bachcha he used to sleep uh, 10 hours uh, at a stretch and i didn't have any problem okay it was your baby my case is different my baby's case is different so uh, stop uh, feeling negative talking negative about your baby uh, don't spread negative vibes around babies are little human beings they can understand and feel every single thing take care of yourself i know you didn't expect this to be here for the whole day if you have been working you are frustrated irritated there is zero percent patience left in you now how will you calm the baby down how will you make the baby sleep how will you sing a lullaby or uh, how will you read a book it is really really important for you to have good sleep and take care of your health and um, you need support um, if you are uh, living in a nuclear family ensure that you and your husband finish uh, the household chores before he leaves for office or um, i'm talking about the days when you are at home and resting when you are working again ensure that um, you leave your office work at office and come back home and uh, concentrate only on the baby do not think much about the work uh, you may have to uh, ask your superiors to help you with it but it definitely helps uh, your baby uh, indirectly because when you are calm and you are able to uh, talk and smile to your baby the baby responds well the baby is more happy um, and with ease you can take care of your baby uh, otherwise a stressful life can never be fruitful rather <laughs> so uh, these were very simple tips which i had to share with you sometimes uh, patterns vary every baby is different as i always say so suddenly divij my son who is 9 months old had go- a good sleep pattern um, Uh, at night he used to sleep at a stretch yes uh, he used to breastfeed uh, in between and sleep co sleeping helped us a lot uh, i didn't have to get up and go run uh, to uh, his cradle or something and feed him he was uh, co sleeping he is co sleeping and it was easy but again i uh, suddenly uh, when he entered his 8th month uh, patterns changed he was not sleeping well and i spoke to doctor on his vaccination visit and he uh, recommended me to use nasal drops because he felt that and he said that colic pain doesn't harm babies at night breathing issues can be harmful so check what is the issue after using nasal drops it was really fine uh, we used to use fan and we used to close all the windows uh, because uh, the highway the road uh, the outer ring road which is two roads ahead suddenly was shifted here next to my house uh, on the same road uh as they were uh, constructing some underpass or something so this uh too much of disturbance uh, which i hated i wanted to be away came next to me and we started closing all the doors and windows and put on the fan because there was less of uh, an air and early in the morning when i observed i uh, was having irritated nose i was not i mean it was dry and i was not feeling comfortable to breathe what may be the case with the baby he was suffering a lot maybe so then we uh, checked this and we worked on it it helped so do check with your doctor if the sleep pattern is suddenly changing food ha- food allergy or uh, some uh, issue which you are not able to judge uh, doctor will definitely be able to help you with it So uh, I hope you like this video in our next video I'm uh, going to talk about winter care for babies I'm going to talk about skin care and immunity both in the same video um winter is yet little far uh, but just there in many regions in India it's already cold so I'm sharing this video uh, right away um do consider uh, checking that video and only if you click on that subscribe button you will get the update of that video um uh, consider uh, clicking that like button that thumbs up uh, so that i know that you are liking my videos thanks again take care of yourself i'll see you soon bye bye